Hey everybody, I am Ryan Maxwell Duncan and we are having a swatch at Against the Storm and I actually didn't get a key for this um, because I'm kind of closing everything down because I'm getting ready to to go into like a hibernation mode because of all the walking and stuff. I, um, I closed down my Twitter, I closed down my Twitch, <coughs> but this was on a good deal and um, so I wanted to give it a try. And then I went into the options menu and saw UI size. Allow unsupported UI size. How big can we make this? Oh, God in heaven. Oh, Jesus Christ. Wow, they were not kidding when they said unsupported. That's got to be for 4K. That is huge. There we go. That's better. Okay. Um, son of a bitch. So, yeah, it's got that. <laughs> so, um, it's also got the ability to get rid of motion blur and depth of field and lightning flashes and all this stuff. It's got gridding. I mean, it's got a lot. <laughs> so since I'm not... Ew, edge scrolling. Gross. And camera, keyboard... Okay, we'll fuck with that in a second once we get in there. Since I'm not going to be... Uh, since I didn't get a key from the devs, I'm not going to write anything about how, you know... How fucking how they can improve things because there doesn't really seem to be much point i mean how many devs actually watch these things but um yeah as you can see there's a fucking lot of options here so let's give it a try please god let there be a tutorial i thought i saw a skip tutorial thing the world so. is plagued by the blight storm. look at that font damn of destruction ravaging everything in his path the only safe haven is the smoldering city where the mysterious Scorched Queen reigns. You are one of her viceroys, a pioneer sent into the wilds, tasked with establishing new settlements and acquiring valuable resources for the crown. This makes me think of, um, Last Spell. Rebuild the smoldering city and secure the future of the Queen's subjects. Like, last spell in reverse or something. WASD to move. Actually, that's not terrible. I wish th I wish it had a grid option for the whole thing. Neglecting your village will increase the, king's, the queen's impatience and bring her wrath upon you. How do I pause? Filling your duties will increase the town's reputation, unlock new buildings, and eventually bring you victory. And pick a new blueprint, crown icon. Each expedition starts with only a few essential blueprints. More will be given as you gain reputation point and pick the woodcutter's camp. A space to resume. Build a woodcutter's camp and explore the forest. You have to keep the fire going at all times. Oh good, they do let you rotate. Nice. Build two of them for maximum wood. Oh, good. Q and E lets you rotate too. Nice. Read more. Winning and losing. Oh, Jesus in heaven. Build not one but many settlements to completely establish a town. Therefore, when a run, you need to collect enough reputation points to fill up the entire reputation meter. Important to do this before the queen's patience. Uh, yeah. You also lose and all your villagers leave or die. Okay, so this is kind of like Warcraft. Do I need roads? Hmm. 
humans, resolve, lizards? Oh, beavers. What is this? Orders. Woodcutter camp. Two wood and woodcutters camp. Rewards group of beavers and reinforced axes. All right. Oh, good. That's up. That'll be helpful. Okay, they are doing things. Cool. Damn, that's a lot of wood. Decor? Why in Christ's name would I want decor? What? It seems like beavers would be best at that. Trees for harvesting to carve a path. Select building or deposit to destroy. There we go. We got this one. Then we get ex and then we get that stuff. Mark trees for harvest. To cut through. Click the axe icon. Okay. Exploration. Although you're almost entirely surrounded by a thick forest, there are smaller and bigger glades around your starting location to establish a successful settlement. You have to cut your way through to them. Glades can contain resources, treasures, fertile soil, ruined buildings, and more. Alright. Best rewards come from forbidden glades. They are forbidden! Alright. So that gives us a good idea of what we're looking for here. So we go yeep. Sign for more beavers. Pick a blueprint. Fuck off. You can pick a new blueprint as a reward for some acquired reputation points. Click the pulsing number on the reputation bar in the lower part of the thing. Shelter. Can accommodate any visitor villager but won't satisfy the need for species specific housing. It has to be built near the hearth. And replaces three. So now we have to build shelters. What's all this then? Exploring the wild. Two glades, six woodcutters, reward, human... Yeah, this reminds me, actually, of Warcraft. Back when Warcraft was good. Remember that day, kids? Oh my, what a day. What a... What a back in the day that was. So now they shall start a cutting. And a building. Ah, there they go. Okay, they do appear to be properly cutting. Ah, I was wrong. This is absolutely nothing like the last spell, which is fine by me. Too soon for dangerous glades. Well, in that case... 
just yeet that. Lizards are resilient and distrustful, very good with animals and meat production, prefer to work in warm environments due to their cold-blooded nature. Uh, beavers are woodcutters and enjoy engineering. Humans are susceptible to rain. Humans are adept at farming and really enjoy brewing. Of course. Chop, chop, chop. What was this? Stormbird nest and root deposit. All right. In terms of raw accessibility, I mean, maybe there's a case to be made for like a, a grid mode for this mode and then being able to highlight your little workers. Oh, cool. They have a feedback. Let me see here. Now that I can actually see what all this crap is. Uh, all right. Cameras. Edge scrolling. Auto track. Auto auto load. Load SP limit. Can only cut only mark trees by default. Avoid opening glades by default. No. Raw consumption. Complex needs consumption on. Enable all ingredients and recipes. Ingredients alternative tooltips. Alerts. We want to have all the alerts on, I would assume. Yeah. And then time plate, okay. Oh, boy chicks. Oh, shit. I didn't notice that one down there. Ooh. Play deposit. Forager's camp and vegetables in Forager's camp. Extra vegetables in Queen's Grace. So that would mean... Starting point for foragers going out into the wild to gather. We need one forager's camp. think they need foraging scavengers camp trappers camp scavengers camp foragers camp okay wait that is also foragers camp son of a fucking bitch there we go go boys go 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 There you go, boy chick. What the fuck are these? Oh. Harvester's camp, flax field, okay. So yeah, it's all cause and effect shit. I love this. This is great. There's that. Then we do this. Stonecutter's camp. Stone clay and sea marrow. So now what do we have to do? Stonecutter's camp. Clay and stonecutter's camp. Do they? Oh, they do. Okay, they, they, they have all that shit show up on the fucking screen anyway. Cool. Can we fit this? 
pretty sure we can. There we go. Oh wait, no, even better, even better, even better. Let the lizards do it. You're lizards, Harry! <laughs> what the fuck is this? Harvester's Camp. Glade Events. Are objects found in the forest, like abandoned caches, survivor camps? Once you select a glade event, the event panel will show up. Okay. Logistics. Every building has internal storage. Every few minutes, workers take breaks. Uh, uh, let's see. Been sent here. Which group do you want? A beaver, and a human, and ten grain, or two humans, some vegetables, leather, and stone. I think we'll take the humans. Harvester's camp. Plant fiber in harvester's camp. So that means that's not right. Harvester's camp. Anything else I need to know? <laughs> there we go. Oh my. An encampment. Still survivors in the area. Welcome new people. A lizard and a beaver. Yeah. There we go. We'll do that goodly shit. Building materials. Scouts are idle in small encampment. Small encampment is idle. Choose a reward. New people or amber. Welcome new people. Shit. Thank you, humans. There we are. And there we are. Next. Planks and crude workstation. Bricks and crude workstation. Fabric and crude workstation. So now we need to do this. the drizzling shits. Can produce planks and... In theory,
Ah, okay, good. They are producing. Yeah, okay. There we go. Probably need more of those. Pick a cornerstone. What the fuck is a cornerstone? Powerful cornerstone. Click the queen's portrait in the upper right corner of the screen. Oh. No one can wither the storm alone. Carpenter's tools. Production is faster in food workstation. Hell yeah. Pick that shit. There we go. Get our shelters up. Forager's camp has no deposits nearby. Move. that ancient tablets objective dangerous glades ancient tablets well we have more humans so we will pick the human houses There we go. I love that they just let you move this shit. You figure they'd fucking make you, you know, waste time with it, but nope, man, what the fuck? Speaking of, I should move this too. Get to it, laddie bucks. Yeah, I really like this game. They did a really good job, and this is just the fucking early access. I can't imagine what all this shit they're gonna add. Beavers must cut. The chopping must continue. All right, what do they got? Okay. Newcomers are waiting. Huh? Oh, up here. Roots, leather, grain, and eggs. A beaver and a lizard. How are we doing on this shit?
trees must drop. Oh, that's their resolve. How many do we actually have? Oh, eight, eight, and five. Ancient Shrine. Requirements. Investigate! Get your lazy asses moving. Get to stepping, you lazy shit! What the fuck is this? Simple tools. Harvester's camp. Shit. Lads. Wait. Oop. And there we go. Settlement complete. The village is secure, but there is one more test of your skills. We got food stocks and all that shit. You unlock new buildings, cornerstones, and traders by leveling up. The higher the difficulty of the game. Yeah. So that is um that is against the storm, and I really like it. It's much more ac accessible than I thought it would be, and I'm pleasantly surprised. Um, hooded horse did another one they published another really accessible game along with clan folk um there's a there's a sale on for the both of these games as far as i know or a bundle or something and i highly recommend it i mean if you're into these kind of games i mean i wouldn't even i didn't even think i'd be into it but i mean pleasantly surprised so yeah it's about 16 17 bucks because it's on sale because it just came out but i believe it normally retails for 20 it's um it's early access but i mean look at what all's here already and I hope you all enjoyed this review. I have been Ryan Maxwell Duncan, and I will see you all next time.